channel. It's Shaq Strong back with another video review, and this time we have another Voyager figure. This is Hound, well, Autobot Hound. As you can see, he's in the same style uh, Voyager box that all the Voyagers, well, Age of Extinction Voyagers are in. And just to show you real quick, there he is next to Galvatron. They got the simple Transformers uh, logo right here. It's not really a logo, it just says Transformers. Like, simple text. Then the box art that continues on to the other side. Then the same type of uh, simple text. But let's put Galvatron in front instead of Autobot Hound. Then here we have the Age of Extinction Transformers 4 logo. And it is Hasbro. Really nice box art right here. I really like the Hound design. Looks really cool, but he still reminds me of Bulkhead. There's the side. Series M4, number 3. Uh, number 1 and 2 were uh, Grimlock and uh, Optimus Prime. There's the side. Autobot logo. I'm not sure the one, uh, the Galvatron one has a Decepticon logo, because, nope, Autobot logo, kind of figured that, and then there's the bio, you guys can read it, so I'm not gonna, then uh, he changes uh, in 14 steps, there's his robot mode, and he has all these weapons to, uh, that I'll get to in a second when I get him out of the packaging, and there's his uh, truck mode, which is uh, Oshkosh. Not sure what kind of Oshkosh, but there's the Osh uh, Oshkosh logo right there. It's a army vehicle, but I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Then there's the Authentic Transformers uh, logo right there, ensuring you this is a uh, Authentic toy. And then there's the copyright information, Lego mumbo jumbo, and then some more stuff on the bottom. Alright, let's get this guy out of the package and get on with the review. Guys, so here we have a Voyager Autobot Hound out of the packaging. And as you can see, he is a armored uh, Oshkosh truck. I'm not sure exactly which uh, Oshkosh uh, truck it is, but it is an Oshkosh. And he does have these weapons that connect. And they were painting the ass to get on. They're starting to all fall off. Let's get to them real quick. Come on. There you go. But it does come with a lot of weapons, and that, that just fell off again. I'm just gonna take them off. He has two on this side. And they sit like this, and you can't take these off. He has a knife too, and he has this big one that sits like this. Take that off, and take this one off. So, and he also has these two handguns that store in his legs underneath here, which I'll get to in a second. But he has two handguns, two bigger handguns, two shotguns, a knife, and this three-barreled machine gun, minigun, which is pretty cool. But let's put this out to the side and look at Hound in his uh, robot mode, I mean uh, his truck mode. Sorry, it's really late, and yep, that was uncalled for. He has some exhaust stacks right here. He has a black Autobot logo right here. He has a lot of uh, reinforcement slash, I don't even know what these are on the front. Something to protect the cab, I'm assuming. And then he has a bumper right here. And then I think he has the Oshkosh logo right here. You guys can't really see it. And he has some headlights. And he is this really nice dark green. I'm not sure if it's a military green, but it's pretty cool. And he also has these black plastic tires. And a lot of reviewers, uh, I think, have been asking 
what this is or um, they're not sure what it is. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, snorkel for the engine so when the, in, uh, the truck goes in deep water and the engine can breathe so I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Just to let everybody know that watches this video. I'm pretty sure, like 95% sure that's what it is. But she rolls really nice, like so. There's the top. Here's the bottom. Really not that much robot kibble, which is good. And then there's the back. No paint apps, hardly at all on this. It's mainly up in the front. Some orange up on the top of the cab. But anyways, to transform this guy, what you want to do is first come in the back and open up his legs and then take this top section and raise it up and get it out of the way. And then take his arms and bring them out. You can unpeg them from the sides. You can also bring his legs down. Let's get him out of the way. And then bring this down like this. There you go. And then come to the head here. And bring it out. And then collapse the wheels in. Like that. And then take these arms after bringing the head up and also bringing the chest. Basically take the chest, fold it in like that, and then put the head down. There's a little tab and a little slot right there, right below his beard. And then you plug it in. I think it's supposed to snap. I mean, it's just supposed to slot in there. Yeah, I think it's just supposed to slot in there. And then take his arms. And unpeg them. Like that. Spin them around. And then right here on the rear, rear uh, mirror, there's a little slot on this section. And what you want to do is bring them in until it clicks. Like that. I think that's pretty cool they use as uh, side view mirrors for uh, the transformation. And come to the arms right here and unpeg them. Do the same thing, spin them around. And then there's a little tab right here. I mean, a little tab right here and then a little slot right here. Then bring it up until it clicks. There you go. And spin his arms around. Make sure the bolts are facing forward. Then you can uncover his hand or spin it around. I mean, same thing. Make sure the bolts are facing forward. Then you can bring his hand like that and come down to his legs and spin these like that. And straighten his legs. And final thing is to collapse his waist in like that until it uh, pegs in. There you go. And here we have Autobot Hound in his robot mode. And he is very cool. One of my, if not the favorite transformer of this line for me. Well, Voyager wise. He's very cool. Just a quick uh, size comparison. Here he is next to Galvatron, which is his wave buddy. As you can see, Galvatron's much bigger. Well, not by much, but you guys get the idea. Put it off to the side. And then for uh, articulation, you can bend his leg up like that. Can't really bend his leg back, but you can bend his knee up like that, and out like that, which is pretty cool. He does have foot pivot, but that's really for transformation. Same thing on, on the other side. He has waist swivel, 360 degrees, 
Then up at the shoulder, 360 degrees. At the elbow, bends up like that, bends down like that, and you also can rotate it. And the bolts do rotate also, which is pretty cool. And also the same thing on the, on the other side. And this head does rotate a little bit, but the beard hinders the movements. And also his, I guess, body armor or part of the robot itself also hinders his movements. This is a really quick look at the head sculpt. As you can see, he has a beard made of bullets. He has a silver face, and he also has an army hat on, which is pretty cool. And he also has some nice paint apps, silver in the legs. Uh, there's red and silver up here. There's brass for the bullets. Some more brass here up on the shoulders. Come to the back, not that much. There's some uh, silver on the bumper, and then there's some silver on the sides, which are, I believe, the exhaust, but it's not part of robot mode. And for his accessories, like I was saying, these guns do, these guns, you can put them in his hand, like that. So he can dual wield his pistols, or his bigger pistols, but for storage, take these, and he has these little slots in his legs, and you just put them in, maybe it's for the small ones actually, maybe it was the big ones, yeah it's the small ones. My mistake, it was the small ones. Because swore it was the big ones. But anyways, you put them in, and then they should tab. There you go. And the same thing on the other side. Also, there's a little tab on the gun, and a little slot right there. And you put this in. And there you go. So he has holsters built into his legs which is pretty cool you guys already saw this but these clip on to his sides there's a little slot oops there's a little slot for him right here and a little tab on the gun and you can just put him on his sides which is pretty cool like that Keep him balanced so he doesn't fall. And then for his shotguns, he can make him do little shotguns. You just gotta get the handle out without breaking it. Mine are really tight. There you go. You can make him do wheeled shotguns. Which is very awesome. I'm trying not to cover the guns too much. And these can store, I think, on the back. I like storing them like this. Getting some cannons. There you go. Come on. I like to store shotguns. Oh. Of course, he would fall over. Herp derp. Come on. But yeah, there's little holes right here, and that's where I'm plugging them in. Right on his bumper. They're really for screws, but you can give them. Like that. He's gonna bring his arms forward to counterbalance those, but that's pretty cool.
and then you can take his knife, there's a little hole in his chest, and you can put it in like that, which is pretty cool. But I like to warn you guys, be careful when you're taking this off. Mine, the chest piece came off and I had to glue it back on. So careful when you're taking this knife off, make sure to press the chest piece and gradually twist and pull the knife out. Otherwise you're gonna rip that off. Just be careful guys. And finally he has his uh, three barreled minigun, which you can hold. Like that. Or you can... Come on. Just gotta bring it down like this. And bring it down like that. You can make a rifle out of it. Which is pretty cool. You can also... Can't remember how this goes, but you take this part, you pull it out like that, and you take his shotguns, and there's little uh, slots right here on the gun. I bring this down a little bit so you guys can see. But anyways, there's little slots on the guns, and there's also little tabs on the sides of this gun right here, here, and here. And put the shotgun on that side. And on this side. Oops. Like that. You can give him an even bigger rifle. And even more. You can take these two guns. Put them together like this. There's two little holes right here. Two little tabs or posts or whatever you want to call it. And plug those in like this. And you can see you're just making one BFG. And then I think you can take the smaller guns and put them on. Probably not. I can't remember. I'm not going to try. See, here's what I was telling you about. It's coming off. I'm going to have to re-glue it. I didn't want to use that much glue. Just got to be really careful with this. That's the only problem about this figure. Other than that, that's awesome. And finally, you can take this and make a bayonet on the front of this gigantic gun. And he can wield it. But it's quite heavy for him. Too bad you can't bring his other arm over. But I think if you get it up like that, you can hold it up, which is pretty cool. But enough for you guys this time. Thank you for watching. And this is the review of Autobot Hound from Age of Extinction. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for a lot more videos to come, guys. Later. I forgot to show you guys. Other than this was instructions. For AMBAC. And I missed a spot where the shotguns can attach. These shotguns can attach right here underneath his arms. Just probably should bring the handle and collapse it but you can bring these like that make sure to cl uh, collapse the handle there's little holes on the side and you can do it like that so he's just one armored up mf I'm not gonna cuss just in case little kids are watching but this is just gonna be added on to the video but anyways guys thanks for watching later